I've made a couple of new friends on Destiny. Uh, let's see. I've been playing this off and on. I think I'm starting to hit that point where it's like, why am I playing this week? Um, let's see. First off, Bungie. I know a way that you can stop having to nerf and change every single weapon due to leveling. Like, currently, Bungie says it's going to have to give us a higher level raid so that you can get guns like the Vision of Confluence and the Fatebringer and possibly the Vex Mythoclast with higher attack ratings. Now, for those of you who don't know, attack ratings increase the level of enemy you can hurt. It does not in any way, shape, or form affect damage unless you are trying to hit a guy way stronger than you. Like, if you take a 300 attack weapon against a level 33 enemy, like in the hard... The hardest raid we currently have is level 33. The 300s do maybe half damage. Then you bring in a gun with almost the same impact, and that is the damage number. That is why currently, my Fate Bringer will do at least as much if not more damage than my badger CCL. If I'm attacking like level 32s or something, both guns do about... I can't even lie, Feybringer still does a little more damage. That impact is ridiculously high. But Bungie, instead of needing the attack numbers, which are so confusing and stupid, how about you just make it so that guns scale with either use or level. Like right now I have a level 31. All of his guns should be able to do, for example, against a level 31, a same level character, I'm doing 100% damage. Against a character or monster or beastie one level higher than me, 80%. Against a creature two levels higher than me, 50%. So if I went into that 33 raid right now, each of my guns is doing half damage. Or 60%, that way the scaling is 20% each. At three or more levels, there is no below 60 or 50%. There's three exclamation marks. No, three question marks, meaning you didn't do damage to the enemy. It's too much. It's too far beyond your power level. So in this case, if I was using a level 30 character to try and take on the 33 raid, he would either do, well, 80, 60, 50% maybe, 40%. Because level 30s can currently do the raid, they just do about half damage. So yeah, 80%, 60%, 40% or 50% for three levels, and then beyond that, you can't hurt them. So Bungie, please watch this video. It's a very simple system. Currently, it is another week with Iron Banner. And just so you know, I did hit level 32 two weeks ago because the wife told me I needed to hit 32. I didn't want to max out my armor because I don't like it. It looks cool, especially with Revenant on and all that jazz, but at the same time, I miss the look of this armor. The cool duster look is really nice to me. And they took that away and replaced it with this is now the best armor you can get. I don't like it as much. It's too stylized. This makes it look like I've... Let's see. Come on. This, if you look at the bomb, it's got belts and straps, but it's also tattered in places left and right. It looks like this armor slash coat has been through hell and back. It's, it's been through a couple of fights. There's probably some bullet holes in the armor that I've had to patch up or resew. This one almost looks too tattered. It looks like I went into a trash bin and dug out like that bottom part of the coat. Like I attached a folded up towel to like a tattered up towel to like a piece of breastplate or chest armor. Oh well. Bungie doesn't like me making my character look cool. Also, me and a few friends, Bungie, have been begging you via the forums, and now I'm making a video 
Make it so that we can have two slots for every piece of armor. One for looks, and one for the actual stats. DC Universe Online's been doing it for the last few years. You guys couldn't take a page out of that out of that playbook. I mean, you took a page out of Star Wars, possibly Star Trek, three or four hit RPGs, but you don't take any of their good elements. I mean, I get it. You're a shooter. You don't really go for looks, I guess, but I would love to wear this and have the stats of either Heart of Praxic Fire or my Death Singer Mantle. Currently, I am doing the Iron Banner. I know, I've told you guys I hate it before, but I'm currently doing it because now they have a piece of armor for my Warlock that gives me discipline and intellect. If you've ever played a Warlock, you know that strength is kind of a waste of your time. I say this because it really is. Your melee for a warlock, depending on your playstyle, I guess, melee's not nearly as important. Because the strength improves how quickly your melee superpower recharges, not how fast you melee or how hard you hit. That is based on your level. I'm a level 31, I punch as fast and as hard as I'm going to, no matter whether my strength is 10% or 100 but a lot of the pieces of armor I got from this last raid focus on either discipline or discipline and strength. Strength is something I don't need. I need intellect. Intellect increases how fast you get your super. Supers are kind of important for warlocks. They're at least that important to the other classes, but warlocks, if you are a void walker, that affects how often you can blow stuff up with your Nova Bomb. For Sunsinger, it affects how quickly your super will regenerate after you've brought yourself back to life. If you're in a raid and or you die often, or like you're just screwing around playing around with your friends on like a low level strike, being able to bring yourself back to life every 60 seconds is really cool. And my old setup, I had 100% intellect, like 96% discipline, kind of like now, and like 20% strength, because strength was not my focus. I don't mind having so much discipline, but I really want my intellect higher. So I'm going through the Iron Banner to get to rank 4, which is going to be a pain in the butt, because I hate, I hate PvP. The only reason I'm, I finally got my Vex Mythoclast, which, those of you who play Destiny, you really need to start playing the hard Vault of Glass more often, starting now. Um, the thing I got my Vex Mythoclast in was the second time ever I've beaten Vault of Glass, and it was two or three weeks ago. But the reason I say to do Vault of Glass now is because apparently that gun drops at least once or twice guaranteed every time somebody beats it on hard. The time I got my Vex Mythoclast, me, my wife, and a third person in our party, all three, got the gun the same match. I really wish I had had this plugged in, but I was still trying to work out some of the kinks so that I can have other people's voices come on here. I tested it once, and all you heard was my wife kind of... It sounded like she was just breathing into a mic, and that's not what you guys want. You want to hear my, my kooky crazy wife, because she's a kooky crazy woman. But I love her, so leave her alone. Um, let's see, that is pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. I will also put in one match of, I guess, me ranting at the horrible, terrible Iron Banner matches. I'm not a big fan. I'm also going to change out my setup because I got tired of using Voidwalker. My low intellect plus my meh kills. Oh, for those of you who don't know, 
apparently the Vex Mythoclast, while it goes in the primary slot, is not treated by bounties as a primary weapon. I've gotten 12 headshots with the Vex Mythoclast. It has counted five. Five. Because those five were made using a different gun. My Badger and or my Vision of Confluence. I'm tired of this bounty with the machine guns. Tell me, like, kill five guys with a rocket or... Yeah, I'm not getting that one. I'm not good enough to get ten kills in a row. I've gotten seven. That is my best. <sighs> oh, that's a cool ship. That one on the top left corner. The green one with the... I'd use that. A couple of the new ships I really want, and I've gotten every new ship, but... Drives me nuts. Like when you get a ship you already have, or it's an engram thingy for a ship to get a new one, and you're like, no, no. Alright. Hopefully, one or two of my friends shows up. I will let them know. We are all listening to them. But I will walk you guys through one match. I actually kind of know and like this map, so... Hopefully the other team's not so crazy stellar that they make me look bad. That's how Control. There's me in the back. Bravo, I'm always team. in the back left corner. Or that that back left or I'm holding Capture the flag and on my screen. Guardians. Alrighty. See you But yes, Don't Destiny see. I have made Enemy so, captured, zone A. Marks. Zone B, secure. Okay, while I'm in the menu, or while I'm in the... I've got about five seconds left. Three, two... Crowd, that was me respawning. Come on, let me pick my gun. Any time. There we go. That's the gun. This is not where I thought I was. I know, body shots do just as much damage for the most part of the Crucible, but I need... What the heck? Felwinter's Lie? What the heck is that? That gun seems awesome. Zone A neutralized. Zone B lost. Enemy captured what? zone B. Zone A, secure. It's times like that where, like, you shoot a guy and then he just walks right through it that drive me nuts. Zone C lost. I don't care about zone C. Enemy captured zone C. Zone B neutralized. I will listen to this just to make sure my sound is... You captured zone B. Zone A like lost. Zone really B lost. That well to save their lives. Enemy captured Zone B. Enemy captured Zone A. They've got them all, Guardians. Oh my god. Heavy ammo on the way. That gun is overpowered. I mean... There's only maybe one or two shotguns. That Heavy can ammo shoot at available. That range and one shot you. And he is not using either of them. Zone I've A never neutralized. Fell winter slot. Oh my! Where is my team? Are they not like getting any of these? No, they keep focusing on freaking B. 
B is the easiest one to get, guys. Zone B Leave neutralized. B Enemy captured zone A. Zone B secure. them and one of you, it doesn't really matter which flag you're going for, does it? See, I've got two guys somewhere close. Zone B. But I lost. don't know where they're going. Oh my Enemy god, that B. gun! We've lost them all. They've got total control. Zone C neutralized. Zone C. Hi, buddy. Enemy controls all zones. Yeah. Zone A neutralized. See, there needs to be a Zone thing B, for neutralized. Zone each A each class. Secure. Like Sun Singers should be able to do if you get like a revenge kill. If you die and you self res and you kill the guy that killed you, or you still take the flag, there should be like a bounty for that. Zone B secure. Oh my god. My teammate just sat there and watched me get shot. I want to play with SK Odysseus. He is my friend. Zone A lost. Me, him, and Zone my wife C, are pretty neutralized. much like oh. my go to team. Zone C secure. <laughs> Enemy captured. Zone A. Why is it when I use Thorn, it doesn't kill people in like three shots? Now, if all three are headshots, that makes sense. Zone B lost. Enemy captured zone B. Heavy ammo inbound. Oh my god. Heavy ammo available. This is why I hate PvP. It's frustrating and you don't get anything. If one's a headshot. So. Yeah, if you're Zone C gather one secure. Right. Five minutes remaining. Yes, son. Zone B neutralized. Yes, I still use my shotgun in PvP. I have discovered recently that, yes, fusion rifles aren't as good as they used to be. Or, people don't use them as often. Shotguns haven't gotten any beefed up in PvP yet, as you can tell, lots of people are still using them. Ooh! How did that not hit? How did that not stick to him? You're not dead yet, It showed yet, it Guardian. sticking on the side of his Pick face. It up. The grenade is a sticky grenade. Why did it not stick? Zone A neutralized. Zone C lost. Oh the my god. Crucible is not a challenge to be taken lightly.
Alright guys, I will let y'all go. My wife is currently with, at her mom's place. Nothing happened, just she is currently hanging out with her mom. Because it's spring break in our town. And we both work with kiddos. So a lot of the kiddos we work with are on trips and stuff. So our business isn't having any of us. That was a terrible match. I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, I will try to do the next video with the wife. Or maybe uh, SK Odysseus. That way you guys get to meet him or whatnot. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a fun spring break-ish time of year. Alright, lights out.